We turn to D.C. The 2012 elections are gearing up to be the most expensive to date, even though some Democratic super committees aren't seeing the money from big donors that they expected. Hans Nichols is in Washington with efforts by Democrats to create a central clearinghouse for those high dollar donations. Hans, where do we go from here? Well, hopefully, once these Democrats, uh, as they see it, once they get to kind of uh, remove a lot of the competition that's happening between these groups, that they can have one central place and they can go out and start collecting big checks from big donors. These are seven, eight-figure dollar checks, so they can start competing with these Karl Rove-founded groups that are really in the 300 million range. Democrats are only in the 100 million range on the super PAC side. The problem is for uh, groups like the House Majority PAC. This is Nancy Pelosi. Pelosi's PAC. They've been competing with some of the other super PACs, like, say, the Senate Majority PAC. That's run by Senator Harry Reid. Well, not really run by him, but affiliated by, uh, with him. And then you have Priorities USA. This is the group founded by former White House aides to get Obama re-elected. Then we have another couple groups, Americans Vote, American Bridges. They're about sort of true squatting what they seem to be misperceptions in the de in, uh, made by Republicans' claims that just don't quite uh, hold up. What Democrats want to do they want to merge or consolidate all these groups, all these committees, and turn it into what they call one super duper PAC. And the approach is, is to get these top dollar donors to write those big checks, the seven, eight figure checks. Now, look, here's what Harold Hickey's told us about this. He's the one that sort of organized the Democrats uh, campaign uh, outside group in 2004. He said, in order to assure success for Democratic groups this cycle, we're discussing the linking up of our forces to work together to raise money. He uh, went on to say, we never thought we'd raise as much money as the right-wing money machine that Karl Rove and the Koch brothers are gearing up to. Their goal really is to stay and have some sort of parity. You look at what the numbers are, a hundred, uh, uh, hundred, one million around there for the House Majority Pack, the House Majority Pack that has 2.1, and then Priorities USA, this is the Bill Burton group, they're at 3.1. Lisa, this is all about Democrats looking at the lay of the landscape. They know they're doing very well in terms of the presidential campaign, but the outside groups, they're lagging. They want to pull into parity with the Republicans and they want to stop fighting each other. The problem is there's a natural competition. There are natural tensions between all these groups. The question is, can they have one clearinghouse for all the money to come in? And then how are they going to do the formula? How are they again going to allocate it? These talks are still very much ongoing. Nothing is final, but they seem to be heading into some sort of consolidated deal. Lisa. All right. I'll make one prediction. Neither side will agree with each other <laughs> on this <laughs> issue. They will find a reason to debate or disagree about it. Thanks so much, Hans. Good to see you. That was our Washington correspondent, Hans Nichols, coming to us live from D.C.